One of the good things about Rice Krispie Treats. You can eat them on the go? That's right. Less messy, or less messy than the um, greasy, greasy tacos. tacos. <laughs> well. So, good morning, everybody. We are up and about and railroad going over railroad <laughs> tracks. <laughs> Um, so we are up and about and on our way to my doctor's appointment this morning. Let's hope we get some answers. Catch y'all a little later. Bye. Hello everybody. So we just left the doctor's office and this doctor was able to give me the official diagnosis that I am type 2 diabetic. So right now with all my medications that I take and my psych meds working really good for me right now, they did not want to throw any medications into the mix. So we are switching up my diet, um, so no more dead bird for me, um, mainly because my triglycerides are extremely high as well. So it's going to be mainly fish and vegetables for me for a while, um, which isn't a big problem. I don't mind that, but I am going to have cheat days um, and still cook um, chicken and um, different meals for nibbling with the neighbors for Kevin because he doesn't like fish that much so I will you know continue to do that and you know I will have cheat days every once in a while so yeah I still have my dead bird every once in a while with all my other issues the fact that I have kidney disease liver disease gastroparesis fibromyalgia um a heart condition um I think that pretty much, oh, and my bladder condition, whoa, hitting bumps there, babe, um, that, not to mention she's crazy as a loon, <laughs> crazy as a loon and OCD, that, um, what is it, babe? What? Th that the doctor decided that we're just going to go straight to, uh, um, it's going to be gastric bypass, he called it, um, bariatric surgery so I'm going to have the bariatric surgery done um, I know that seems kind of drastic probably to a lot of people out there and he's very confident that doing the surgery will definitely clear up my diabetes and and, your gastroparesis. and my gastroparesis which is something that I've been fighting with for years and anybody out there that has gastroparesis or knows anything about gastroparesis knows that it is extremely painful so clearing up those two things will be just a blessing in disguise so Kevin and I right now are headed to the store to pick up some fish and some different types of seeds that I'm allowed to cook with and some vegetables and that's about it for now um, I know some of you are probably gonna say don't do it don't do it but this is what I think our be best option is at this point um, what's your opinion on it baby well we can't do medications because that that'll probably cause problems with your other medications it always does and you're in a very good place right now with your medications and I think everybody's uh, pretty much on the same boat that this this will um, solve all of your problems uh, if you lose the weight then it'll be not your feet won't be so uh, won't be a problem also if you lose the weight you probably won't be having the pains in the stomach because uh, a lot of that has is going to do with the weight as well 
I think this is going to solve a lot of your problems. You're really adding to that pizza today. Well, I got to help you out here. Now you can't have any of this food, so I'm just going to have to eat it for well, you. Well, I can have the crab, but you're putting mozzarella and you're putting onions. I can have onions and you're putting cheddar cheese. Cheddar, yep. Right. So, so and onion, yeah, 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 we got that. Yeah, onions and crab. I'm allowed to have that. I think. You can't, you're supposed to have crab because crab's high in cholesterol. But this is fake crab made with pollock. Yeah. So you can have fake crab. Yeah. You're so nice to help me out, though. I know. I'm doing all I can to keep you healthy. Make sure that this pizza's gone. I love you. Uh -huh. Are you enjoying that pizza? Is that going to be your dinner, too, or are you going to have some fish with me? <laughs> we'll have to see. <laughs> i got to look up some different recipes for some of the fish that we got. In my beard. <laughs> yeah, your beard looks very clean and very nice. Good. Kaya said she's gonna come over after work. Good. He was trying to drink my drink again. He's looking at me right now, so saying I'm innocent. Right? You wouldn't do such a thing, would you? You know, Boomer, if you drink that drink, you're going to be pooping everywhere. It does anyway. Well, very good fish. So Kaya decided to join us a little bit, and we're having swordfish, swordfish and veggies. And veggies, and she says it's a very good fish. So one thumb up or two? Two thumbs up. And you think I should do this on my nibbling with the neighbors? I think so. Okay. All right, now for the real test. To the man who hates fish. Then more for you. <laughs> he's doing it more, he's eating it more for me. Adding salt. Ugh. No? Uh -uh. It's fish. So when I make this, it's chicken for you and fish for me? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I haven't even tasted it yet, so here's my plate. And here I go. Well, I happen to like the swordfish with the vegetables, the flaxseed, and the lemon and garlic that I made. Kaya enjoyed it. I ate all mine. <laughs> My whole half cup of food. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin ate all his vegetables. I did. But he couldn't stomach the fish. Nope. Maybe, maybe he's just a little vegan. <laughs> Kevin can't handle fish. He doesn't like fish. He was willing to give it a try for me, which I do appreciate greatly, but he couldn't do it. So it's in the refrigerator. Maybe I'll have that as my late night snack. <laughs> now how's your dinner? Good. Yeah, dinner. Take two. <laughs> Pizza. What did you do to Boomer? Did you drug him? Yes. I kind of have to tilt the camera. I turned him into mush. I have to kind of have to tilt the camera a little bit to get both your head and his head in there. Because <laughs> his head is hanging way over the bed. There it is. There he's picking his head up now. Did did Daddy did Daddy drug you? That's all I had to do was say his name. Boomster. Boomy, boomy, boomy. Hey, boomy. Boom. Boomer. 
watch out for Rocky. When she comes, she's the lady with the short black curly hair. Watch out for her. She wants to catnap you. Shout out! Yeah, I've got cats hissing at each other over here. I feel about to yell at somebody. Mojo! Momo! Momo! All right. Cat Larkin! I know you're going through a lot of health issues too right now, and I wanted to tell you that we are keeping you in our thoughts and prayers, and I'm sure, I'm sure the whole neighborhood community is as well. And that is something else I do want to say. Um, so many people have said, you know, you got the whole community behind you, supporting you and everything. And I do want to say, say, say thank you to everybody in our neighborhood community because you guys really did come out of the woodworks there and just was... Right, and we got a lot of good information yeah, from you guys. Yeah, we did. A lot of, and, uh, uh, good, of you know, it, 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 I know it also made Val feel better because uh, she was panicking about the diabetes. And uh, a lot of you said, uh, you know, relax, relax. It's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, and Brandon Windsor, he came out of the woodworks and said, you know, chill. You got the, you got the support of the neighborhood. And <laughs> we got cats still. Um. He loves our PIN channel. He finds it very interesting. And he can't wait for the new investigation to be up. Sweetheart, 81067. Thank you for your kind words. And we really didn't mean to make you cry. <laughs> um, Jeff, G78S. He lost 80 pounds since last September. And he did it just by a diet. Um, the information is on one of the vlogs. Um, go by and check out and see what he did. That's amazing. Congratulations, Jeff. John A. Burke lost 70 pounds. Burke? I think it's Burke. 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 Uh, he lost 70 oh, pounds. And he, he downloaded... My Fitness Pal app, but he lost 70 pounds. Yes, it took him a year and a quarter to do that, but that's the best way to lose weight because if you lose it slow, it stays away. So congratulations to you, John. That's fantastic as well. All right. Um, yesterday we gave uh, Rex25059 a shout out to get him to 30 subs. He's got 32, so thank you guys for that. Katie Caroline is his sister, and she needs five more subs to hit 300. Let's get her there, guys. Wow. 300. I remember when she, we were her 10th sub. Remember that? Mm -hmm. She was asking for 10 subs, and we were her 10th. And then she asked us to help her get to 100. And now she is... Five away from 300. So let's get her to 300, guys. That would be awesome for her. And Suzanne? Alberga. Alberga. Welcome to the neighborhood. And she came over from Rocky and Rich. And we just love Rocky and Rich. And we're going to be spending my bloody Valentine. Just don't be coming them. around trying to pick up Boomer. <laughs> I already told them they're going to be subject to body cavity searches because she's trying everything she can, making all these plans to cause distractions. Oh, and gonna... I've warned all the cats and dogs. You're going to be doing the body cavity search. <laughs> we should just get one of those things that they use at the airports now. That's right. <laughs> the big x-ray. <laughs> Anyway, it's time for neighborhood community. Oh, credit roll. <laughs> I was in the zone now. The zone? What zone were you in? My zone. What's What's in your zone? Me. Are you in that part you of your head? Your that's zone. remember that. Who was saying that about that part of your brain? Can't talk. I'm in the zone. <laughs> um, get out of the zone. Oh, ow. ow. Get out of the zone! Why? Zone. We're, we're filming! You can't be in the zone! The zone is filming! 
they're the zone right now. Oh. Uh, the zone. <laughs> Bad pun, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do my thing. What kind of thing do you want me to do? I don't care. I'm in your zone. He's in his zone. I'm gonna do my thing. Oh, do it. I'm doing it! She's beating me up now. I'm gonna take my zone. <laughs> do your thing. Do your thing. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. We'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo and Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, P-I-N. And see you tomorrow. Twilight Zone.